Bonjour, enfants. I hope you're well. I hope you've had a good half-term holiday and start back to your lessons last week. I'm sorry I couldn't bring you a French lesson last week, but here we are this week. I've got one ready for you. Uh, starting a new topic, learning all about animals. And today it is animals on the farm. So I'll start sharing my screen with you. You'll need a piece of paper to write the vocabulary down on. And you will need a plain piece of paper for the task, but you can do that after the video. Remember to pause the video because I'm going to go through the vocabulary quite quickly. So if you need more time to write down the vocab, make sure you click pause before I move on to each slide. OK, off we go then. Forgotten how to do this. <laughs> Let's see. Here we are. That should be it now. So here we are. Les animaux, our new topic. Les animaux. That's the plural ending for animal. What? Know the names of some farm animals. So grammar check. When you write down your vocabulary, do it in a table. So if they're vas masculine words, they start with un or le, write them on one side. And if they're feminine words, write them on the other side. So the question that we'll be asking this week is, what is it? And the way to ask that in French is, qu'est-ce que c'est? Répète, qu'est-ce que c'est? And you'd reply with, it's a, and then the name of the animal. So it's a in French is, c'est un, or c'est un, if it was feminine. It's a. So here's our first animal then. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is it? It's a sheep. How do we say that in French? So, un mouton. Un is telling us it's a masculine word, so you can write that on the masculine side. Le mouton, that's how to say the sheep. Les moutons is if there's, it's plural, if there's lots of sheep. Un mouton, répétez. Le mouton, répétez. Les moutons, répétez. C'est un mouton. It's a sheep. Next. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is it? Oh, it's a hen. Une poule. Une poule. Répète. Now, look, this time it's une. That's telling us it's a feminine word. So write that on the feminine side. La poule, the hen. If there's lots of them, les poules, that's the plural. Here's the question again. Qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est une poule. It's a hen. What have we got next? Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is it? Oh, this time, similar animal, but it's the boy version, not the girl version. A cockerel. Un cock. And look, it's un, so that means it's masculine. Le coq, the cockerel. Le coq, if there's lots of them, le coq, plural. So here's the question again. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is it? C'est un coq. It's a cockerel. Next. Oh, what's happened there? Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is it? Ah, oh, look at the cute little piggies. Un cochon, a pig. Le cochon, the pig. Les cochons, plural. So, répète. Un cochon, répète. Le cochon, répète. Les cochons, répète. Remember, we're used to C and H making a ch sound. 
but in French, they make a sh sound. So it's cochon. Qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est un cochon. It's a pig. What have we got next? Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is it? Oh, a cow. So, une vache. And look, une, it's another feminine word. Une vache. Repite. Cow. La vache. Les vaches, plural. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is it? C'est un... Oh, it's not a cow. It's a vache. I've written cow instead of vache. Never mind. C'est une vache. It's a cow. Silly Mrs. Rennie. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is it? A duck. Un canard. A duck. Le canard, the duck. Les canards, that's the plural. So, répéter, un canard. Répéter, le canard. Les canards. I've done it again. It's not set on duck. Oh my goodness me, this is embarrassing. This should say, c'est un canard. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is it? A cheval. It's a horse. Un cheval. Or oh, the horse is le cheval. Le cheval is the plural. So repeat after me. Un cheval. Le cheval. Le cheval. Next. Oh, hang on. Oh, I've got it right this time. Woohoo! Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is it? C'est un cheval. It's a horse. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Oh, look at the cute little doggy. Un chien. A dog. Le chien, les chiens, plural. So repeat after me. Un chien, répète. Le chien, répète. Les chiens, répète. Let's answer the question then. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is it? C'est un chien. It's a dog. Oh, look at the little cat. Un chat. Remember, C and H in English we say ch, but in French it's a sh sound. So we pronounce this chat. Un chat. Le chat. Les chats. Let's answer the question. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is it? C'est un chat. It's a cat. Now, as you've been going along and writing, you should have had all the masculine words here and all the feminine words here. You've only got two feminine. Un poule, a hen, and une vache, a cow. So just check you've written them in the right column. Now, here's a word scramble for you. I'll put them up. You can pause it to unscramble them. I'll very quickly move on to give you the answers, so make sure you pause it before you see them. So here's the scrambled words. Oh, sorry. Press pause and I'll show you the answers. Here they are. So as you've probably guessed already, the first one is dog. Chien. Cheval. Horse. Cochon. Pig. And the last one is canard. Duck. If you wanted to, you could do some word scrambles for somebody else in your family so they can learn some French words too. Now, I'm not going to play it on here because it will take too long and you can just do it yourself. But on the blog, I'm going to put a link to this video 
so that you can have a go at singing it at home, Old MacDonald. It's quite tricky to sing along with because it goes so fast, so you'll have to sing it a couple of times. And there's two tasks for you to do today. The first one is to sing along with the video, which I will embed onto the blog. And the second one is to draw Le Vieux MacDonald, Old MacDonald, on his farm and label all the animals in French. Something a bit like this, children. Take a look at this. There's old MacDonald. She's a girl in this one. And she's saying, bonjour, mes petits. Hello, my little ones. Je vais à la farm. I go to the farm. Now, here are all the animals. They're saying noises. Those are the noises they make. I would also like you to put the name of the animal in English underneath. But you get the idea. And you can colour it in. If you wanted a challenge, you could have a go at writing a new verse for Old MacDonald. So here it is in French. The blue words stay the same. The green words are the ones you would change. So, sur la ferme, il a, on the farm, he had une suricate. That's the name for a meerkat. Squeak ici, squeak là-bas, squeak ici, squeak là-bas, on a tanker, squeak, squeak. Everywhere, squeak, squeak. So you just have to put the name of the animal in there and the noise that the animal makes in there. And you can have as many new verses to the song as you would like. And indeed, I would love to see you singing them in French. That would be fantastic. So that's all for today. If you do, um, if you do write some new verses to the uh, song, you can email them in the usual way, your year group at bluecoatfederation.co.uk, whichever year group you're in. And if you uh, do a poster, you can email a picture of that to the year group email as well. So I'll stop sharing now. We'll go back to... Yeah, don't know whether you can see me or not. Usually it doesn't work when I come back, but hopefully it will. I hope you have a great week, children. Don't forget to practice those French words and the song. I'd love to see some of your posters. I'd love to see some new verses to the song. So if you can send them to your year group emails, that'd be brilliant. Take care. Au revoir.